Welcome to FP Executive. We're joined today by Dan Fortin, President of IBM Canada. Thank you, Dan, for joining us. Well, thank you. Thanks for the invitation. You're more than welcome. Dan, I want to talk to you about Canadian business expertise, uh, areas where Canadians excel. We've, we've read recently that Canadian banks are the toast of the town in, in, in some parts of the world after last year's uh, crisis. Yeah. But uh, you've traveled extensively. Uh, you've, you've worked throughout Latin America. You've worked in New York. And you recently uh, also did a global survey of CEOs. I'm interested, what did that tell you about how Canadians do business? Yeah, no, it was fascinating. So we interviewed CEOs around the world and quite a few Canadian CEOs. Mm -hmm. And of course, in so many areas, uh, our top management in Canada is, is the same as all around the world. But there's some areas that are different. Uh, and some areas that are fascinating came through for us here in Canada. I'll, I'll give you a few examples. Please. Um, all CEOs around the world believe that major change has to come to their company in order to take the future on. And that's okay. not a big surprise for no. us, right? It's interesting that it, the Canadian CEOs are more concerned with their ability to take that challenge on. Really? Uh, in, a, in probably a, a significant statistical difference, uh, mm. probably 30% more Canadian CEOs mm -hmm. feel like they're not necessarily prepared to take that challenge on. So, for example, uh, are you saying that people know that they have to evolve their business, they have to change, but the execution part is, is a bit of a concern? Exactly. Oh. Now. Now, when you think about that, and you think just to what you were saying about our track record, right. how you were using the, the example of how Canadian banks came through with flying mm -hmm. colors relative to all other banking industries, I suspect it's more to do with uh, our sense of uh, maybe, maybe being conservative, but maybe being mm -hmm. careful, yes. uh, a sense of wanting to make sure that we're prepared and mm -hmm. not leaving anything for chance. Right. And so while the third more Canadian CEOs say they're not necessarily prepared, Mm -hmm. My suspicion is, is when they hit all of that change, they will be way more prepared than colleagues around the world. Interesting. Instance. So perhaps Canadian uh, uh, business leaders are not cowboys, but they're, uh, they're the more prudent person sitting in the back, slowly moving forward, figuring out how to execute. And yet they're still uh, a little bit... Uh, shy, perhaps, in terms of bringing forward that information? Yeah, I, I think we have to be careful in, in, uh, in categorizing ourselves that way as okay. Canadians, because mm -hmm. perhaps we don't beat our drum as loudly as others. But mm -hmm. if you look at industries, and forgive me for coming back to your, your banking example, sure, no Canadian problem. banks have led in innovation mm -hmm. over decades and decades. Mm -hmm. uh, if anything were to come forward, more often than not, it comes from Canadian banking. But it's the same way in all mm -hmm. industries. So I, I, th I prefer to put in the category of, you know, we, uh, we walk silently and carry a big stick, if you will, in, in that context. Well, I, I know that you do a lot of work through, through a number of industries in healthcare, for yeah. example. Uh, and that's an issue that, uh, you know, governments, policymakers around the world have been struggling with. Could you tell me a little bit about what you've seen in terms of people trying to struggle with the issue of how do you improve healthcare management? Wow, what a, what a broad subject. Yes. Uh, and obviously, everybody's very interested in it for your well-being, for mine, for the mm -hmm. countries. And of course, we're not the only country taking this on. Yes. It, you think of it holistically, what needs to be accomplished to mm -hmm. really move this forward. Mm -hmm. How can we make health workers much more productive than they are today? I mean, the cost of it is consuming you and I. So right. how do you make them more productive? How do you get information to all the different sources in, mm -hmm. in various ways. And of course, a lot is written on that. Uh, and, it, and it comes down to a lot of technology. And it's mm -hmm. not raw technology, but it's, it's innovation around mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to do healthcare different? Right. How, how would you and I carry our health information differently? How mm -hmm. can we acquire it differently? Right. Um, let me give you an example, John. Um, and th these are some of the things that are being looked at here in Canada. So when we talk mm -hmm. about leadership. I mentioned banking, I mentioned other industries, healthcare, I think, you know, our provinces and our federal government is leading the way in so many ways. I'll give you a simple example. Your blood pressure, mm -hmm. uh, your temperature, all those vitals. Mm -hmm. now, why do you need to go to your doctor's office to do that? Why wouldn't you have a simple device around your door frame when you go through between the kitchen and the living room mm -hmm. that picks that information up and downloads it to your doctor's office? That would be interesting, yes. Yeah. 
So uh, I, 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 the reason I mention healthcare is because we, Canadians have, uh, for years, we've been obsessing about how we can do things differently and 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 and, and manage our system a little differently. Let me perhaps move to to a, a different industry. We're talking about execution. Uh, questions around, for example, uh, we've we've talked about cities. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How can uh, Canadian cities uh, try and find ways to really build innovation centers. Hmm. Have you thought about this very much? Well, we have. And of course, uh, you know, we believe that smarter cities is one of the things that we all have to tackle, industry mm -hmm. and public uh, domain as well. It's very, very important to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're holding conferences around the world uh, called Smarter Cities and right. one here in, in Toronto. And think of it around uh, practical aspects as well. So you talk about centers of innovation. Here in Canada alone, if you think of the number of hours of our productivity that's wasted just in congestion about mm -hmm. you and I driving to work, right. uh, you know, how we can move about, how goods and services can move through the city in terms of congestion. Mm -hmm. What if we had smart grids? Hmm. Um, we talked um, a few minutes before about Canadians being different. One, mm -hmm. of the, one of the areas that Canadian CEOs are remarkably ahead of their colleagues around the world is around energy conservation, around okay corporate social responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And so what about our energy consumption in our large cities? What about mm -hmm. our energy grids? Um, what could we do different to make that more efficient? And mm -hmm. so there's so many different aspects around it. Uh, mm -hmm. Smarter cities, whether it be law enforcement, mm -hmm. whether it be traffic congestion, whether it be energy consumption, mm -hmm. all of those things you could look at as portfolios to say, let's get at it. We can get at this. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot, of, a lot of cities who are beginning to do that. Well, let's come back uh, in our next segment and talk a bit about transportation, uh, which I think is, is something that uh, in the city of Toronto, where we are at the moment, everyone's talking about that. 